course. Alright guys, Troublemaker here playing Pillars of Eternity. Just continuing on where I left off. And whoa, something, um, it's a ghost in a torture rack. That's rather unusual. Maybe we can free her. And the ghost is gone. That is boring. I want interactive ghosts. Something I can pick up here. Why won't it let me pick it up? So I'm clicking so much? Is that perhaps it? Ah, there we go. St. Girin's Horn. I was using the wrong click. I keep forgetting this is a isometric game. I can loot these guys of their flesh? That's creepy. Oh, it's a person on uh, logs. So, a witch. Well, that's fun. And this thing is, this structure, massive structure, is formed of stone, adric, and copper, covered in strange cliffs. The area around it vibrates. Well, that's, that's fascinating. Um, I'm picking a lot of grass, so hopefully I can eventually build a nice little salad. Uh, there is a crafting option in the game, so maybe we can make use out of that. But in the meantime, we'll spend six hours heading towards Veilwood. Veilwood, of course, is uh, where we're headed to. And, um, so I'm not going to do any, I did all the side quests before, and that was all very neat, but I'm not going to do all the side quests now, because I don't, I don't believe they're possible individually. I think I'll eventually need a party to do side quests, so I'll be back here with a party, a group of adventurers, um, whenever I can get a party, that is, um. You know, it might feel like cheating to some people that I'm not going to do all the side quests, but, uh, you know, uh, obviously some of them are going to be designed around coming back. That's kind of how these games go. So, yeah, I'm just going to take a look around. Um, oh, that's a cave, so I don't want to go in there just yet. What do we have over here? Is this a way anywhere? Yes, uh, but not to the Guild of Dale, only to Silent Lys. Uh, we're not ever probably going back to Silent Lys because um, it's completed. We've done every single side quest there. Oop! Wolfie time, wolfie time. Does whatever a wolfie does in time. Spins the web, wolfie time. Spider Man saw great use for just about anything, I guess. Right. Take that. Okay, that did not do too much in the way of damage. The Chant of the Badass. So, Settler's Arrow. Something else I'll be able to add to my delicious salad. A splattered piece of crater stewing across dirt along with the muddy vegetables. So, it's like you spoke me of some more ghosts. Yay, of course we need more ghosts. The grass is flying behind the wagon wheels. Barrels of cabbage, potatoes, and squash have been overturned and abandoned. A shame. That doesn't lead us to the Gilded Vale either. Just another way to go back to the Lees. And we have a scroll of Tanglefoot, which uh, I can't use because um, I don't have enough lore. Gods keep you. On your way, self, is it? Greetings. Don't see too many of your sort along this road. <laughs> Meaning no offense. Suppose you're heading into town. The sooner you clear these woods, the better, I think. Our caravan was attacked. I'm trying to get to the Gilded Vale. <laughs> Hard luck, and I, I'm sorry to hear it. You should be fine from here. There's no missing the Vale if you keep to the road, and you haven't walked far to the walk. But you want to keep clear of this place after that, I... Well, you were attacked north of here. Me and a friend of mine. We came out here to hunt for some deer. Came up on a bear instead. A great monstrous thing. And Pearly? Well, <laughs> he didn't make it. I don't know what I'll tell his wife. In any case, this force has already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. Well, where do you find that bear? Oh, in a cave a ways up that way. He points towards the northwest. I wouldn't seek it out, though, if I were you. It was a great brute of a beast. Would hate to hear that I took another's life. In any case, this force already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. Goodbye, friend. So that was a bear, which is more than enough reason to actually abandon it. Because um, bears are scary. And I don't believe I can take on a bear. Ah, an outlaw. 
He's an Indian outlaw, half tree and half Chippewa. He's an Indian outlaw. He's a one of a kind. He's an Indian outlaw. I'm kind of an outlaw. Don't know the rest of that song actually. He's one of a kind. All right, there we go. Yeah, we collect all this poopy crap, including some money. Pretty low on um, endurance here, so I think I'll set up camp. Okay, apparently I have very creepy dreams. This does not look like Earth at all. It looks like another planet, but maybe it could be another dimension. Let's see. The young dwarf tending to the stew looks up, startled as he sees you approach. He drops his ladle, splattering stew across the ground. What? The bandit turns. Get him, you dogs, and make sure our new cook does don't run off. Please, help, help our mug! One of the bandits gives Tendeth a kick as they pass him. Okay, so... This guy's dual wielding, this guy's dual wielding, this guy's got a bow. I'm going to have to get some skellies out. The sooner I can, the better. Just got to wait for my appropriate number of chants to be completed. Please, skellies. I know you're out there. Okay. This is the plan, though. Skeletons actually don't do that much in the way of damages. So, they're just going to tank a lot of damage while I kill a lot. But my health is already exceptionally low. One hit point left. Got to make sure to keep summoning skeletons to keep those melee guys busy. Oh boy. So it actually destroys whatever skeletons I had before. What's our chanting doing? I need another batch of skeletons sooner rather than later. Well, My dude is on his deathbed. How much health does this guy have a lot, actually? Trying to get my guy out of there so he can not take the damage. What is it? Oh. Kind of turned around to my dude here. Whoa. So I'm probably going to get this lightning thing on him. Yeah. That will finish him off. Well, job well done, it looks like. These bandits actually have quite a bit on them. God's well, hello, sir. By the flame, thank you, thank you, thank you! I thought I'd be stuck here cooking for those ignorant weasels for the rest of my life! Or until they bored me with, I suppose. I must get back home, I only hope they haven't hired a replacement. The dwarf looks aghast. Listen, next time you're in Gildedale, stop by the Black Hound Inn. I'll let Pasca know what you've done for me here. And I'm sure she'll do the right thing in turn. Uh, anyway, something something goodbye. So I have a new side quest, a new task, an official, official side quest, to talk to the innkeeper. So I did right by her employee. So these guys were stealing lots of food, and this tent is empty with a pair of stained coats. How nice is that? Not nice at all, in fact. I think this place should be called the Gnarled Wood. That's what I helped doing. Health is actually uh, not bad. Uh, I lost about 30 in that encounter. Does it go up over time? It doesn't seem to. Hmm. 
So you can make supplies and food and stuff like that will be pretty valuable. Um, do I have enough for anything crafting wise, I wonder? Let's see. I can make one of these. Let's offload this junk. Okay, and I assume that's gonna show up in the potions category, perhaps? Yeah. So let's see, right click for details. Speed, instant, um, 10 endurance, 1 constitution. Huh. Oh, there's a whole slot here for quick items. And how do I actually use these quick items? Oh, I see. It's over here. There we go. Now, now my numbers have gone up and it's got a, a an overtime effect. Over 6 minutes, uh, which means that I can have increased endurance for combats. Uh, so I'm going to team into here and young wolves. So I think I'll deploy the same sort of tactic here. I only have four hit points left. That's pretty brutal. Luck seems to matter a bit in this game. Okay, so get the skellies out. And the master can run away. Let them tank the damage. So I should probably take the one with the lowest health first. Now this will be shocking. <laughs> Goodbye, skeletons. It'd be nice if you can keep them a little bit longer. You know, just have a timetable on how they live. Okay, so this is kind of a dead end, but I saw over here there's a body up here, so this has to be something. Let's see, the, the, the aged walls appear to have once encircled this entire glade. Only a circle fragment remains, and the stairs leading to the top have crumbled away. Let's see, examine all close to the heavy brick are slick with moss, presenting a hindrance by climbing, but the stones themselves seem sturdy enough. Given the right tools, one might easily be able to reach the top. You find a handhold on each, you start to pull yourself up, but the uneven bricks, something, something. Okay, so I need to find a tool that will allow me to climb there, and that's... I, I'm just going to, considering that I've looked through the entire place, I'm going to assume that's in the bear's cave. Uh, just because um, it's a bear, you know, that kind of makes sense. Uh, so off to the Gilded Vale we go, an eight-hour journey. And this place looks pretty gnarly. Probably just cut down those trees though. They don't really add much to the aesthetic of the town. Normally you cut down trees like that, you need some to build your homes, and then you keep up you you know keep up nice homes with like green brushes and whatnot. People are not city planners at all. Alright, here we are, the gilded veil. Yeah, it is gilded, right? As in gilded on Reddit. And it's lots of gold. And that just got creepy. Why are all those people hanging in that tree? I'm, I'm betting people are just gonna pretend like it's not there. Like, no, no, no. That's that's just that's just art. That's just that, that that's a million dollar art project that we've been working on. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Ha 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 ha! I feel at home already. Estimable Lord Radric the Seventh has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a Hollowborn child? I don't know what that means. Born without a soul, of course. Lord Radric has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans. And those who would hide a curse in our midst. His okay. wife of the child and do any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then. 
after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn just southwest of here. I've been feeling strange ever since a close call with a Biowick. Is there something, someone in the town who could help? After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. Sounds kind of like a, a, a what is it called, a homeopathic medicine. Finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little court stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however. Is to be satisfied that you escape and leave it at that. Okay. I said something about Hallborn and Waitwind's legacy. I forget that you foreigners do not have this curse in your homelands. The Hallborn have a scourge upon the Dryerwood for almost 15 years now. Children born without souls. Pitiful dumb things that breathe barely, but do not truly live. Some say the Hallborn are a disease. Some say they are a punishment from the gods. In truth, no one knows, but they began spreading after the Saints' War, and so the name Waden's Legacy stuck in honor of that foul blasphemous pretender. Before I got here, I saw several people conducting a ceremony in the ruins. You'll want to mind where you mention that. Trespassing on Eggwin's ruins is illegal, not mentioned dangerous. You probably saw someone attempting some new ritual to appease gods. People try anything these days. I don't think so. Just as they finished, there was a biowack. If you had been that close to biowack, you wouldn't be standing. Keep out of us. Ba ba ba. How so? Only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Does this affect the Lord's offer on new settlers? I can be sure you nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest in the inn or stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I will uh, know more enough soon. Okay. Well, off we go, and uh, none of these are selectable. Um, so this is the guy I talked to for yet. This is Salisford, it's an archer. A cell sword. Eater. Who's Eater? For is he a person? I could introduce you. Gives you uh, my condolences. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna head towards the inn, which is where. Well, Edder seems to be one of the people that I can actually talk to. Edder and Allah. Oh, here's the Black Hound dude. Okay, I can't talk to him anymore, apparently. I'm assuming this is the end. You see four people gathered by the door, something but him being a figure. Let's put this matter to rest over around, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. What's going on? We don't take kindly to that treatment, not from foreigners, especially not from Adrians. And that means you too. Don't push us. I'm itching for an excuse. Fy, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather. But that's that odd. Tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. That's where you're wrong. I don't think attacking is such a good idea. 
uh, perception. He's reaching for something, and since it's not a rapier at his side, it's either a wand or a throwing dagger, and you don't look ready to deal with either. Better watch his step around these parts. Well, I guess that means I saved him. He is clearly carrying a mace in his hand, though, or a morning star. Don't really know the difference. I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. I'm glad I could help. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts, as the company of fellow countrymen. introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Alof Corvuser, at your service. Tell me about yourself. And an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seatwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. Both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? I was traveling in a caravan, but we were separated near some ruins. ruins. Those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. The locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? Several hooded figures operating a strange machine. You do manage to find yourself in rather interesting predicaments. Just how do you manage to process those three drunks? That was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. You did tell that man to go fuck his sister. Ah, uh, that, uh, as I tried to tell him, they misheard me. No, I actually heard the exact same thing, dude. I should speak more clearly next time. Excellent. What are you doing in the Guild Vale? I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Indeed. In that case, welcome to Gilded Vale, a true refuge from civilization. Begging your pardon. Oh, you don't look like a settler. Yet, sir, how should I, given recent All right. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and excellent. I shall. Okay. So we have another party member. Uh, what does he have here? Arcane assault. Unleash a bolt of magical energy from his grimoire that affects something, something. And weapon sets. Ooh. Creates a cone of fire in front of the caster. Ooh. Those are not all auto spells, obviously. What nice. Is okay, uh, away we go into the inn. Which means we have to wait another six hours of travel time. To travel to the inn. Okay, here we are. I assume this is the innkeeper. Pasca, yes, that's her. Oh, it's you! Tenzer told us what you did for him. Just to leave him back. Can't thank you enough. Consider yourself a favor at the house. Discounts of drinks, rims, Tenzer said he wanted to whip up something nice to you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. So, what would you like? Um, I okay, okay, need some reliable help. So let's see what you have. 250 copper. Okay, let's go to the store. And we're going to sell off all this useless junk. So I'll keep my tools. Tools are always useful. Now, camp supplies I should keep. Oh, I already traded away. Okay, let's add in. This is what I meant to go to. And these I want to hold on to. Okay, so that's going to give me a total of $897 to spend. So I get my level 1 adventurer. Yay! I can get my level 1 adventurer. Oh, crash. No way. Oh my god! Bullshit. Switching to resolution 1080p failed. Trying to lower one. Oh my god. 